What's up guys? Welcome back. So today I went over to Dick's and uh, that's Dick's Sporting Goods by the way. Went over to Dick's Sporting Goods and I picked up a bag full of stuff. They had their summer clearance going on right now for their fishing gear and I wanted to see if I was going to be able to get a good deal especially since my wife got some coupons in the mail so didn't want to let those go to waste. What I did was I went over I looked at their clearance section and I looked at, uh, I, I definitely needed some, some freshwater baits because the whole, you know, just using a, a soft bait wasn't cutting it no more. It's summertime and uh, I picked up a bunch of frogs. And when I say a bunch of frogs, you'll see what I mean. So I got a bunch of them. So title of this is what's in the bag, right? Because I'm pretty sure you guys want to know what's in here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to dump it out, organize it, and then we'll go over them. on these freshwater videos for the season and uh, so let's go ahead and let's get into it very first thing that I'm going to talk about actually I'm not going to talk about that first I'm going to talk about this so my wife has been getting on me uh, with these videos as far as my my clothes I like PFG I think that they're very comfortable they got a nice little wind flap in the back and uh, I really like them but my wife says that I'm making myself look like an old man because they they kind of look like a Boy Scout shirt a little bit. And that's what she called me when, when I got, you know, in my outfit and was trying it on to see what size I needed. She called me a Boy Scout. I look like a Boy Scout. So, and there's nothing wrong with being a Boy Scout, but I'm out fishing and, you know, I know you guys have heard that saying, happy wife, happy life. So, I went ahead and I picked up a shirt that, um, she said she likes the style of them. I don't necessarily want a long sleeve shirt because I get hot really quick so I wear short sleeve shirts but to appease her I went ahead and I picked up this uh, Huck Fishing uh, shirt and uh, I went with this one because it's got a bunch of mesh in it and I actually like the colors I'm, I'm big on white I think white looks good oh it's got Yeti written on it too oh cool um, I didn't see that uh, I'm big on blue and white, and this thing's got a lot of mesh all over it. So, this one's for my wife, and uh, I'll be wearing this tonight when we go fishing to try out some of these lures that I picked up. So, I've never used any of their stuff before. Uh, I've looked at them, but I've never used any. So, tonight will be the first time that I, that I wear it, and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. They have really good reviews, so I'm expecting you know to like it as well. Um, all right, now back to this one. So... There was this website called Fishhound uh, that used to exist. Uh, it still exists, but it doesn't exist in the same manner that it used to. So I used to be on there, uh, and you had a yearly fee that you paid, and then you got to receive products and review them, and you got points per your review, and you could get five items at a time. This actually was uh, one of the tools that I got from them for a review, and it's up in Delaware with my dad right now. And that's where all my, all my fishing gear is. That's why I've got to pick up all brand new stuff. Um, so I loved this little tool. It's called the Boomerang. And this thing cuts braid. It cuts fluorocarbon. It cuts basically anything that you can think of. Stainless steel jaws cut braid, fluoro, and mono. Um, and then it's also got this nice little keychain thing that you can use. I never used that, I just kept it in my toolbox or in my pocket. And the pinchers on it, um, they're really sharp. I, I never I never frayed a line when I was cutting. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up because mine's up in Delaware with my dad. Um, it was actually pretty expensive. I only paid, actually I didn't pay nothing. I, I, I used $5 worth of points on this thing uh, when I was on Fishhound. 
and this thing I'm pretty sure it was twelve dollars over at Dick's which is pretty expensive um, in my eyes considering how much I got the last one for but this is a really good tool and uh, you guys should definitely go pick one of those up if you don't have one alright so the next thing I'm going to talk about let's see let's see let's see what did I pick up okay so we can talk about the clearance stuff first alright so their clearance section right now was buy five get five free uh, on hard lures and it's got to be on the clearance rack and it's supposed to end in 97 or 96 I think it was or 93 something like that anyway um, so I went back to the clearance section because I wanted I wanted to get as many lures as possible uh, without spending a, a butt ton of money I'm a little bit closer now so you guys should be able to see this so I got two Banshee series from Strike King um, and this was the first one that I tried to show you before and uh, it says they'll dive up to eight feet so we'll test that out I don't have a way to test out the eight feet thing but we'll see if they catch fish that's the important thing uh, the next one it's another Banshee series just a different color and it's blue on top yellow on the bottom and white then I've never heard of this lure before in my life, but it says it's a shallow water suspending twitch bait, um, and it's made by Mirror Lure. It says it's for trout, redfish, tarpon, snook, and striper. Sorry about that. Still trying to get used to recording YouTube videos, so I got my phone with me for the GoPro. It's just a little bit easier for me. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I've never, I've never seen this kind of lure, so I don't know how this is going to work, but clearly this is, uh, mainly for salt water, but it's what it looks like, it's pink, there you go, she doesn't want to stay up, but that was one of their clearance items too, um, then I got some, uh, Yuzuri, uh, 3D prism finish, uh, minnows. I think all of them are minnows. No. Two of them are minnows and one of them is a popper. So the first minnow, um, it's a suspending, yeah, a suspending minnow. Uh, it's actually got some pretty good color to it and it's got a little lip on it. I can't wait to use that. Why are they all falling over? I can't get them to stand up. There you go. Okay. The next one, same thing, just different colors. Uh, same size, same everything. Um, they're kind of cool. I, I haven't been in the freshwater section in a while, so I found some pretty interesting things. In, um, like the frogs. I'll get to the frogs in a second, but those frogs, I, th I got one, two, three, four, I got seven frogs. May, may have been a little excessive on the frogs, but uh, I don't know which frog to you so I'm gonna try a bunch of different ones all right anyway get back to the user so the third one is a floating popper um, and it's got a little teaser on the tail of it I don't know if you guys can see the teaser or not but uh this one I'm actually pretty interested to use in my backyard because um, the fish really aren't biting in my backyard for some reason and I'm having a hard time uh, catching anything I caught a stick fish the other day though it was pretty big it was like three feet long I I have to put it in here as a blooper. You guys have to see it. Um, all right, so that was some of the lures. So what I did was I got these five. I got these five. Let me pick them up for you. I'm struggling here. Bear with me. These big hands, and I can't pick up five lures. So I got these five, those five that I just showed you. Well, I showed you six. Take out the mirror lure. So I bought these five. For their clearance price and then what I did was I got that mirror lure for free and I got these four Strike King uh, uh, spinners for free uh, one of them I think is a buzz bait if I'm not mistaken I can't tell like I said I've been out of this stuff for a while so I don't really know what these are called I know I know most some of them are spinners and then some of them are buzz baits um, but they're actually they're all pretty good they 
they really only had bright yellow, except for this one blue one. And I think the blue one's probably going to do better than the yellow. Um, this is what their blue one looks like. And even the, uh, even the, the little spinner part, the little flake, it's got some blue flake in there too as well. So it's actually, that's, that's really cool looking. Um, and then I, I kind of went as different as I could on some of them. I got a small one. It's just plain yellow. And then I got a bigger one that's yellow and white. And then I got one with a jig head on it that's just yellow. So we'll see how those those do. And put all those aside. And we'll get to the Rapalas. So Rapala, they had a deal on. It was buy two, get one free, and they had to be from the uh the Shad Rat in the Rippin' Wrap series. So I got two of the Shad Wraps and I got one Rippin' Wrap. Uh, the very first one, it's a, uh, it's a Shad Wrap and it says it's, it's a floating and it's just silver. It doesn't really have nothing else on it to describe it. So for new people like me, it doesn't really help out. But I picked this one because it's got a little bit of a, a red belly on it. And I don't know if you guys can see the red belly. No, I'm not going to be able to show you guys the red belly. She's not going to pop right there. There you go. Well, you can see it a little bit. So, uh, that one should work fairly well. And then the next uh, shad wrap has a yellow stripe down the side of it. And some, looks like some scales painted on it. And both of them are deep runners. So it should be pretty interesting to see uh, where I can use those at. And then the uh, Rip and Wrap uh, that I picked up, it is a loud rattling, hard vibrating gold chrome. Uh, and I thought it looked cool. It, it got my attention, so I'm hoping it can get a, a fish's attention. But those were buy two, get one free. So I, I, got, uh, I got three lures there for the price of two. And they were actually marked down a little bit. All right, so the next ones were uh, rattle traps. Rattle traps were the same thing, buy two, get one free. It didn't matter what series you got. So I picked up uh, their original series of rattle trap, picked up one of their original ones. And um, this one says purple light tiger. And it's kind of cool looking. It's kind of clear a little bit. It's got some stripes on it. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to use that one. And then the next ones I picked up, they're both Supernova series. Uh, the first one is called Bleeding Nova Transparent. And it kind of looks pretty cool. All the, I can't wait to use all of these. I'll, I'll, I'll just stop saying they look pretty cool because I don't really know much about them. So that's all I can say right now. But um, when I start to, to break them open and start using them, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find a favorite, just like everybody does. And... Uh, I'll just keep using it, and then I'll get mad when I lose it. All right, so the next one was, it's just called Z-Nova. I don't know what that means. Um, it's got some, you can actually see the balls inside of it, the ball bearings that make the noise. So, can't wait to use all that stuff. Um, And I picked up this little kit um, it's called the MEPS World Number One Basser Kit. And it's a set of uh, six lures. And they all have teasers on them. I'm trying to get this straight. Yeah, they all have teasers on them. So um, I don't really know much about these either. I've never even heard of this brand. So we'll see if they work. They should work. All right. I'm going to save that one for last because that one's kind of cool. So I did some research online and everybody's saying that uh, the live target frogs are your go-to frogs. At least from what I found. Uh, every article that I read said uh, live target. So I picked up one live target because I don't always trust what everybody says. I want to try it for myself since I'm still learning. So I picked up one live target frog and... Uh, Where's the color at? It says HB Frog. That's all it says. 
But I picked this one up. It's kind of different. It's got some teasers on the end of it, some yellow teasers. And um, yellow and white. I missed that. There's some white ones on there, too. Um, looks like Stetson. Stetson, come here. Stetson wants to make a guest appearance. Come here. Come on, buddy. You say hi? Look. You say hi? Yeah. You want to go fishing, too? What do you think of them? You like them? You like them? So this is, uh, this was... Uh, the Sheltie that I got back in Oklahoma, and uh, he was my agility dog there for a while. And uh, as you can see, he's kind of he's kind of a little attention whore. Uh, can I say that on there? I don't I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on there. Please, 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 don't judge me. So back to the fishing. Stetson can hang around if he wants. All right. So this live target frog, it's kind of bluish in color, blue and yellow, and. Uh, this was at iCast for 2010 as the best new soft bait. And uh, it is soft, which I would hope it would be. Um, so, if you're into fishing, you know what iCast is. iCast is a pretty big event, and it actually just happened two weeks ago. So, um, they had some pretty cool stuff. I saw some of the videos from there. Hopefully, next year I'll be able to go uh, if I get an invitation. But, uh,. Anything that's an eye cast, it's worth trying, so I'm ready to try that. Then, well, I guess while we're on eye cast, so these four frogs right here, um, it's called Lunker Hunt, Lunker Frog. And then I got three pocket frogs. Um, they were also awarded eye cast, and I don't know if you guys can see. This is their lunker frog. And then these are their pocket frogs. I got three of their pocket frogs because I don't really know how to use frogs. So I picked up some small ones just in case I don't have big enough fish out there to, to eat the big ones. But uh, I like their packaging. They're, unlike this one, the live target, like you can see the sides. And I mean, you have to really turn it over and get a glimpse of the bottom. But this one, all you have to do is just turn it around, and you can see the bottom of it. So, all these have yellow and white bellies, uh, I think. Yeah, yellow and white bellies. But their legs, like the pocket frog, they all have legs, and these legs, they jiggle. So, I'm probably going to use these, these frogs first, because they look more realistic than, than that live target. Um, but then had these Savage Gear Lily Ninja Popping Frog. Uh, and then this one's just the Lily Ninja Frog. I picked up both of these as well. Like I said, I've never used frogs. So, I picked up a bunch of frogs. That way I had to figure out which ones I like. Uh, there's one last thing that I picked up. I thought it was cool because I've never seen anything like this. And, uh, I was very interested in it because everybody knows that when there's a school of fish, most of the time the predator fish is going to be there and he's going to try to pick off one of those little tiny bait fish. Um, so Live Target came out with this uh, thread fin shad and it's a bait ball series. It is literally three, it looks like three shad, four shad, yeah, four shad, five shad swimming together in a cluster and they got some hooks on the bottom of them. I am very interested in trying this because if you go off the technical you know concept of fishing and schools and how fish react to schools then this this lure right here should work pretty good and if it does I'm gonna go pick up a bunch more but this is what it looks like so that's all the stuff, and uh, after the coupons and, and uh, all the other stuff, the discounts, the clearance, all of that, I ended up spending $205.68, and that was with $13 in tax, which, oh my gosh, I cannot stand tax. I'm from Delaware. There is no sales tax. Whatever is the price in the store, you walk out the door with it. Florida, 
It's a 7% sales tax, and it bugs the crap out of me. Um, but I guess that's just one of the things that you got to deal with when you got hobbies. So um, I'm going to post up little prices on each one of these, the retail price, what I got them for, and then the total at the end. I think I probably saved somewhere around $50 or $60 on these lures and uh, the gear that I picked up. Um, so thanks for coming and viewing this. Uh, I'm going to be trying to fish with some of these tonight. Uh, I think Tim is going to meet up with me and I think he's going to have his camera too. So he's probably going to make a series, uh, entry as well. Um, I'll let you guys know which one I use when I catch it or if I catch anything, but I'm pretty sure we're going to catch something because I've, if we can't find anything in my back pond, I know of a pond that has a little dam that goes down and I've literally just spotted fish back there and they are massive. So if we can't catch nothing in our backyard, then we're going to head over to uh, a pond that I know about and hopefully we catch some big fish there. And like I said, I'll let you guys know which ones I like, which ones I don't like, and I'll let you know which ones I lose because I'm probably going to lose some. All right. Thanks for coming back and watching. And I know I'm posting up a lot of videos, but I'm trying to give you guys a lot of content. Uh, to view at least while the the channel's starting until I start to get into a routine. All right. I'll see you guys later See you